In this video we're looking at the protection measure of a quota. We're going to look at the basics of what a quota is and how to draw it. If you look on the left side here, that a quota is a restriction on imports. So a quota simply means how many imports are allowed into a country. The other thing you should be very aware of is that the higher the quota, more imports are allowed in. Okay, so the higher the quota, okay, the government is letting in more imports into the country. So if you come over to this side here, if we think about it, if I've got a higher quota, this means more imports, which means lower protection. If I've got a lower quota, okay, that means less imports, which means higher protection. So just be clear that this here works in an inverse way. This is something that is quite often tested on HSC multiple choice questions. If I look at the quota diagram, I've got the similar setup, P, Q, O, that if the government controls the number of imports coming in, then the number is actually fixed. It doesn't vary. So this here is the supply of imports. And then what we'll do is we'll just have our demand curve here. And this is the demand for imported goods. So if we've got S here, then we know we've got Q here. We're going to create price based on this level and we know that this would be P. So that's P and that's Q. Now let's have a look at situation 1. So there is going to be more imports allowed in. So if we look at it here that this is S1 which matches up with this scenario here. So here we are looking at more imports being allowed in. So this is Q1. And then we can see if there are more imports allowed in, then the price is going to fall. P1. That's going to fall. And so this here, this movement in S1, is a decrease in protection. Now, there's also the other situation, which we'll call situation number two. Situation number two is where the government will reduce the quota, Q2, so that we're moving this way or this way. With S2, can you see that S2 now intersects with the demand curve at a higher point? So that's P2. So that when we have a lower quota, so less imports, a higher price for those imports. If we have a higher quota, that means more imports, and that will lower the price for those imports. And this is how we look at a quota.